So, welcome to this hot sauna. Yes, I don't think I'd like to go there. Hmm, a natural cavern. Oh, what's this? A railway? Cave in there? Hmm, where are we? Some kind of mine. So, this is my mine. Yes, a minecart track. Slightly adjusted, but this is the view from the hub. And you'll come in here, and there's lots of chests around, and each chest has provisions in case things go wrong, and some food, and some spare carts in case you get bumped by a pigman or something. Um, but if you press down W, you will see that you can usually get through. And this was a natural cavern, and I've just covered it up and put some lava there and I'm hoping it doesn't jump this far up to the wood because there's a lot of wood here to burn. So you come in on this track, whiz down here and the idea is I tried to create some walls here that may have been reinforced. Little areas where they've been mining and abandoned it because of loose rocks and then yeah, so most of this was um, dug out and some bigger wider areas. So here I wanted to create like two levels so you can see both levels. And it's a bit windy. And then we go up and down, dips. Obviously I've got spiders webs everywhere. And kind of a central column here. I thought it looked quite good. And there are some bits of this which will be natural cavern and some which I actually just made by just pickaxing my way through. So there are lots of chests as I said because you might get stopped by pigmen but if you press W most of the time you'll get through and I'll show you the ride at the very end and you hit that and you come out. So kind of a reflection on the rest and this is the journey down and I kind of wanted to fall down quite quickly underneath the other one and the other one shoots up into a natural cavern and this comes down into natural caverns this is natural I've just finished off the walls and there's a, another cavern behind here as well but I thought I'd block it off so again just drilled out an area with a pickaxe and then just followed it and lined it. Again, walls at the sides. And then I was trying, this one came up because it's trying to meet with this one. So I get this two tier level and open this bit out a bit just to make it a bit more interesting. And another area there. You can, if you want to change tracks, jump between here and there's another point just around the corner where you can swap tracks. And then you can see little bits as you come down. You'll see other glimpses of chests and areas. So now we're coming underneath the other track. And again, opened up again to the second track and another area under here. And that's where the lava is. And then you just finish off down here, up a couple of bits. And then this is traditional down to the track. So that's it. That's what I've been up to. Um, it's taken a little while, but uh, not as long as I thought it might. Um, I've also got a lava, you should see. I don't know if you can see it on the video. There's lava dripping down from the ceiling, so that's sort of why there's lava there. So there we have it. Let me just cut back to the ride.
So where does it go? It comes out here. Two spawners. How about that? Within 21 blocks, I think. So I thought I'd make a double spider spawner. And these are the cave spiders. Nice little blue ones. There is a forest biome up there. And yeah, so uh, this is huge. I actually collected tons of diamonds from here. Diamond blocks and also diamonds from chests. And there's about six spawners in this whole mine. A very good find. So let's head back to my main base. So here we are in underneath the church and I've obviously done some work. Put some things in and let's wander through to the library. And the tunnel is to keep my bat in the right place but also to hide up the doors. I didn't like the doors. So everything's now finished. There we are all the way down and we have one of every type of books. So I know you can make some of these efficiency fours into efficiency fives. Uh, we've got a couple of silk touches, two fortune threes, quite a few of those. And I sort of finished off this area as well. So there we have it. That's what I've been up to. I'm quite pleased with all this. And um, I will open it up to the public soon. I've got to decide what I'm going to do, how we're going to work it. But there we have it.